Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to design ebook with clickable table of content in Canva. The first thing you want to do once on Canva.com to create an ebook is quite straightforward. All you'll need to do is simply tap on the search bar, and from there you could type in ebook. After you have done that, you're going to see the option ebook multiple pages, ebook template pages. You can select either one of these options. For this example, I'm going to be selecting ebook multiple pages. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you can choose from any one of these templates. Keep in mind that the templates that says pro or has the dollar sign, you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use those templates. But there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free. So let's say, for example, I want to use this template. I'm going to be selecting it, and you can also see that it has a table of content right there. Now we're going to tap on customize this template. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll be able to edit each page so you can make changes. So for example, I could tap on the title, and from there, I could change the title, for example, Excuse me, I could type in simple answers right here. After doing that, I could change any other information I want. Now to make the table of content clickable, all you'll need to do, the first thing you're going to need to do is name the pages. So to name the pages, you'll simply select the page. For example, this is page one. I'll tap right here on the three dots. After you have done that, you're going to see the option add page title. You are going to tap on the pencil icon and I'm going to be calling this home page. Then I'll tap on page two and I'll tap on the three dots and I'm going to be calling this the table of content. So you'll type in table of content right here. After you have done that, you will tap on page three, tap on the three dots. Then you are going to tap on add page title and from there you can add a page title. I'm going to be calling it module one. So I'll type in module one right here. And then you can continue to page four, as you can see right here. And you could type in, for example, module two. And then you can continue doing this. So you can continue page five, page six, and you can continue naming each page. Once you're finished doing this, all you'll need to do now, you're going to go back to the table of content page. And from here, for example, we could select page two. After doing that, you're going to tap on the three dots that says more. Then from there, you're going to select the link option. After selecting the link option, all you'll need to do is simply scroll down until you see pages in this document. Then from there, you can select the page that you like it to be clickable to. So let's say, for example, I want to redirect them to module one. I could select that, then tap on done, and then we could select page page five right here or the other option, then tap on three dots, select link. And then from there, we could scroll down and we could select the page that we like to redirect them to, then tap on done. And if it is a case that you like to link an external page, for example, a website or so on, you can do that also by simply selecting the page or the text, you could tap on link. And let's say, for example, I want to paste in an external link all I would need to do is simply go onto the website, copy the URL, then go back into Canva, and I can paste in the link right here. After you have pasted in the link, you'll tap on done, then tap on done once more. Once you're finished doing this, if you would like to preview it, or better yet to save it, all you'll need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you could tap on download. After tapping on download, you will see the option PNG and from there you could change that if you want. So I would recommend that you go to PDF or so on. You could select PDF standard or PDF print. It all depends. It is completely up to you. Now let's say for example, we were to select PDF standard. Then tap on download and we're going to be downloading all pages. So once our ebook has been downloaded, I'm going to open the ebook so you can see it right here. And if I were to go to page two, as you can see here, 
if I were to select page two, it will redirect me to module one, as you can see there. And if we were to go back and I were to select page five, you can see that it redirects me to that page. Now to redirect me to an external page, if I were to tap on page eight, you can see that it opens up a new tab. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.